Hello editors, welcome to another video in which I'm gonna show how to create this new trending rotation zoom effect in After Effects. I'll show you step by step how to make this cool effect so you can simply follow my steps. So now let's edit. First create an adjustment layer and cut it accordingly. Now go to effects and presets and search as blur mockups. If you don't have this plugin then don't worry. Cause later in this video I'll show how to create this effect without using plugin. Apply this effect to adjustment layer. Now set wrap X and wrap Y to reflect. Then create a Z-dish keyframe at the beginning. Go to end of the adjustment layer and set Z-dish to 0.700. Now create a rooted keyframe at the beginning. Again go to end of the adjustment layer and set rotate to 20. Make sure adjustment layer is selected and hit U on the keyboard. Now select all the keyframes and hit F9. Then select the upper keyframes, go to graph editor, make sure you edit value graph and copy this graph. Now select the lower keyframes, go to graph editor and again copy the same graph. Now create duplicate layers and align with the rest of your clips. Finally select all the clips and recompose them. Make sure you follow this setting and hit OK. Then go to effects and presets and search RSMB and apply RSMB Pro. Set main BG blur amount to 1.50 and main BG sensitivity to all the way 100. Now I will show how to create this effect without using plugin. Select a clip and hit S on the keyboard. Then create a scale keyframe at the beginning. Now go to end of the clip and set scale to 130. Again select the clip and hit R on the keyboard. Create a rotation keyframe at the beginning. Now go to end of the clip and set rotation to 20. Select all the keyframes and hit F9. Select the upper keyframes and go to graph editor. Make sure you edit value graph. Now copy this graph. Then select the lower keyframes. Go to graph editor and again copy the same graph. Now select all the keyframes and paste it to the rest of your clips. Select all the clips and hit motion blur. Now let's see the final result.